Right now we're watching some water of another kind. Yeah. Come on down. Precipitation Great. outside to our SkyCam network. There's downtown Orlando on the left side of your screen, but we've got a downpour in between us and the city. Beautiful. Currently 82 degrees, but that temperature will come on down as we get some more rain popping on over. So here's our first alert Doppler radar, and we're scanning around, and we've got basically one main area with good old fashioned downpours. It's from about 434 in Oviedo back over to UCF, across 436, now even into Winter Park, and pushing on down toward uh, Bumby. There's downtown Orlando. We'll put a storm track on this as it continues to move uh, roughly 15 miles an hour or so. So we'll track it through uh, past Orlando. Down toward Oak Ridge and even down toward Dr. Phillips and the theme parks. So, Boone High School. Say 624, the rain moves on in Conway. 630 into Edgewood at 641 in Belle Isle at 653. Eventually could even skirt the northern side of the Orlando International Airport. Then there's this little guy developing right over the beach line, drifting southward out into open country. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on that. And then one downpour here just to the south of Patrick Air Force Base around Satellite Beach, Indian Harbor Beach, eventually working on over toward the north side of Melbourne. But again, no strong or severe storms anymore. Did have that severe thunderstorm warning across. Uh, Orange Osceola earlier on. You see that East Coast sea breeze popping on through, doing exactly what we'd expected. Now, just plenty of clouds sitting over central Florida. So, those clouds stick around. Temperatures will fall off into the low and mid range of the 70s, much like last night. Here's 8 o'clock model data showing some storms in the western areas, but quieting things down through 10 o'clock. And even by midnight, basically a nice and quiet scope. Tomorrow, we get a little bit of an onshore kick from the west. That just means another round of showers and thunderstorms across central Florida. High temperatures about where they were today. We'll call it 90 in Sanford, 91 in Orlando. Hit 92 uh, for us today, so just a smidge warmer. Tracking the tropics, look at the last 12 hours. This is newly upgraded tropical storm Grace starting to look like it's developing a little bit of an eye wall. This thing could be trying to continue to strengthen now just south of the uh, Cape Verde Islands. So there's the storm system. There's the coast of Africa. Watch the uh, computer forecast models as we go through time. Plenty of time to watch it. Seven days from right now, it will still be somewhere just off to the east of the Leeward Islands, maybe even north of the Leeward Islands. Again, plenty of time to watch the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, starting with winds of 45 mi or 40 miles an hour, expected to strengthen briefly and then kind of level off. Most computer models keeping this as a tropical storm through at least the next seven days. Plenty of time to track it. Back here at home for your Sunday, we'll call it a 40% chance of showers and thunder showers. Labor Day bringing in a little bit more moisture, so we'll. Dial that up to a 50% chance of rain, staying that way Tuesday, then Wednesday into Thursday, a bit of a drying trend before moisture moves back Friday into Saturday.